Everyone, here's this phrase, the best thing for a human body and the worst thing for a human body is another human body. And when I heard that phrase, I thought, yeah, you know, think about how energy impacts uh, our bodies, our brains, our businesses, our immune system, our thinking, our environment, etc. And another human body without having the right kind of energy, meaning if the other human body that you're around has negative energy, then you will succumb to that negative energy because you're more positive. And negative always goes to positive because positive can transform, transmute negative. Anyway, little esoteric talk, but you get it. And so the worst thing for a human body is a human body. And the best thing for a human body is another human body. And it's about the mind, the energy, the intention, uh, the diet of a human body that is going to impact another human body. That's a fact. Um, the healthier a human body is, the easier it is for... Uh, for it to be around more uh, challenged human body. So let's just say most people don't like to go to a hospital. Well, there's a lot of sick, unwell, uh, suffering and challenged human bodies there. And no wonder, you know, it, it tugs on the emotions, it tugs on the energy, it tugs on the mind and the worry about what could happen. Uh, if you are the one who doesn't like being in a hospital. And the interesting thing about the human body is that as you take care of your human body, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, relationally, financially, the six will process that I use when I help people get to that next level is you are able to handle more and more and more. And more importantly, the success of your life improves. There's a statistic that says that uh, people who run, who are runners, tend to have more success. Now, it doesn't mean that you should start running because not everybody is meant to be a runner. However, it is a body in motion stays in motion, meaning it can shed and uh, disseminate junky old negative energy. Meditation can help by this. Uh, stagnation is the thing that is not going to help a human body. Two human bodies being stagnant is even more dangerous. So the thing about you being human is, is you get responsibility for yourself, where you're going, what you're doing, how you take care of your body, your mind, your energy and also how you take care of your environment. And that requires you to have presence and groundedness and awareness and awakeness and intention. And the challenging thing that we face as we move through our life is we forget to be intentional about taking care of ourselves and living and, and not just working. So think about your human, take good care of your human, be a good human to your human, and you will find that you thrive and succeed more and more and more. I was talking with a client the other day and he said to me, oh, I get sick a couple of times a year and that's normal. The truth of the matter is it's not normal. Uh, it is not normal. And so take that with you and think about what are you doing for you, your human body to shore it up physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, relationally, and yes, financially, because all of those play into that next level into your success. My name's Siobhan Moran. I'm driving for your success, and you can find me at SiobhanMoran.com, S-H-E-E-V-A-U-N-M-O-R-A-N.com. And you know, if you find this interesting or valuable, like it, share, comment, do good things, and be a good human. Talk soon.